Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your one only sexiest upline life, your chief. I'm here, not at home. So I'm starting three minutes early so we can figure out whether my internet is good enough. So you see, my internet is not so good. Shall we go to 4G? I think safer. Yeah. All right, so we go to 4G. Yeah? Connecting. Greetings, 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 guys. This is your chief. I'm back. Now, I want you to keep me posted that you guys can see this clearly. All right. Uh, Kalai will be joining. Kalai, just SMS me on my voice number, okay, if I lose my connection. Because I'm in the middle of a beach somewhere, all right, uh, with the ocean outside. So, Wi-Fi is bad in this location, but I'm using my 4G I hope it will carry me through my whole Insta live. So, for those of you all who logged in early, we are two minutes early. So, I'm not going to start my official intro, all right, and until we're 8 o'clock. So, that we are all, you know, having some discipline in life and following the exact timing. I hope you guys are doing okay. Welcome to week number 9. I hope you love my hat, which is a bit tilted. All right, this is my bathing ape hat, which is not usually like my, my hat. Background will be my sons making a lot of noise, all right, because that's what kids do. And uh, I hope you guys like the look of this bathing ape hat. And please tell all your downlines to log on to Insta Live instead of wasting their life on a Sunday doing nothing productive, like some people I know sleep the whole afternoon and all that stuff. All right, so let's stay focused, guys. Week number nine, first week of Rank Advancement, month three. Okay, exciting, exciting year. All right, 2023 is our 25th anniversary and QNET has been reasonably secretive about their plans. But on 1st March, all right, they're going to go crazy on their plans. There's going to be competitions. Oh, yeah, it's eight o'clock. All right, so let me redo my intro again. Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to my Insta Live week number nine. Uh, let me first do a shout out to Hitesh, who joined me in my pre-Instagram Live uh, chit-chat three minutes ago. Uh, Butterfly0030. Hmm, interesting. Ajay Kumar Tulsi. PP Sirvi. Jula Kanti Vindia Reddy. Madena Sharp. Branjit Kumar, I love, I love P, Mom's King, Elite Soul, Ishup Gauda. All right, uh, those who have logged on are now logging on, and I see uh, who else? Huh? Twenty-four other. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, something happened. All right, so greetings, greetings, greetings. To everyone, I suddenly... Is the connection okay? Those who are online, can you see me and hear me clearly, guys? All right? Brilliant. If you can, just give me a thumbs up. Give me some kind of recognition. All right? I see you guys. I see you, Brijesh. All right? I see all of you guys. I don't know why I can't see as many people uh, on my list as I usually see. Let me see. It's 8.01. Hitesh, I see. Uh, Madena. Okay, there must be a technical problem. As long as you can see me. So now let's see who's there. Can you guys see me clearly? Uh, all of y'all. If y'all can give me a thumbs up or anything like that so I know that I'm live and you guys can see me. Yes, no? All right. So firstly, greetings to everyone. Assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim brothers and sisters around the world. All right. Uh, privy, that's my son, Aryan, trying to participate in my Insta live. Say hello. Say hello. Uh, Say hello. Uh, Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay. Well, he's going to start talking much more very soon, guys. So firstly, Assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. Privyat to all my Russian-speaking brothers and sisters around the world. Bonjour, 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 bonjour to all my French-speaking warriors around the world. Vigets, Ola, all right. 
சலாம் மர்ஹாபா நமஸ்தே வணக்கம் நமஸ்காரம் சாஸ்திரிகால் ஐபோவான் அப்பக்காபார் நீஹாவுமா சின்சாவ் மெக்கலாவா all right um good day mate to all the australians komusta to philippines okay uh, i hope i didn't miss out any one of you guys so greetings 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 from your one and only chief on week number 9 okay now this is our 25th anniversary our 25th 25th anniversary represents our greatest achievement ever it basically makes a statement to the industry of network marketing that we have existed and pass every test survive every challenge become victorious in every battle to survive for 25 years uh they cannot trust cannot believe in the organization bottom line is we have been around for 25 years that's all you need to know are you guys with me or not and that alone is enough that alone is enough for us to tell the world that we are here to stay guys now the 25th anniversary of qnet we have a lot of surprises lots of surprises we are going to kick off our 25th anniversary campaign all right in the month of march there's going to be competitions where you participate there's going to be a lot of stuff that qnet is going to facilitate for you to join and participate on the 25th anniversary okay which is legacy impact future now these three words of chosen by qnet which is legacy impact future simply means that we have a legacy of 25 years that we have left behind in so many thousands of lives around the world impact is our impact on the industry on this planet on everything we do and the future is the most exciting thing that we have today which means that the last 25 years we have done a lot but this 25 years all right we are going to do much more hang on guys i'm trying to figure out how to charge my phone no really okay can we charge it somewhere is the wire behind down here there is Yeah, it must be there's a wire down here. So the future 25 years is the most exciting part. You see, Japa and Datu Sri Vijay founded this company not to last for one year, two years, three years, four years. They have proven by surviving for 25 years. That means their plan for the next 25 years, all right, is the most. No, you can ask them, Ryan. Ryan, B. Can somebody help out and fix the charger behind me? The next 25 years is going to be the most exciting time ever. And if you have become part of our family recently, if you're brand new sign up, is you just signed up whatever whenever the time has come, all right, that you join us. It means you're starting a journey for the next 25 years of this company. Now imagine 25 years ago i was sitting there with the founders all right when this idea was born and today we have grown to become the most amazing success story in the network marketing industry now today you are sitting down for the next 25 years the future of this organization and you are sitting down here today as pioneers all right of the organization okay okay and that is fundamentally the most important thing you have to remember that today you have the opportunity to be a pioneer in the next 25 years of our journey the 25 years where we are embracing technology the 25 years where we are embracing all right every aspect of changing evolving this network marketing industry all right 25 years of opening up new markets the brand new products that the company is going to be launch when i started i had one product guys Today Qnet has thousands of products in every single aspect of your life there is a great product provided by a great company for you to use to change all right uh, and improve the quality of your life now when we started those of you all have been around for a long time i can't see all your names for some reason but those of you all have been around long time kalai sati adli all right david sharma arun you all know this 
We had nothing, guys. We managed to max out with one product or two products or three products. All right? We had no, nothing to show. All right? No credibility. No Manchester City Football Club. No QI Tower. No university. All right? No millions of downlines that we have today. We just had a story told to us by these two great men, Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. We repeated the story, monkey see, monkey do. Some said yes. And today I pray that those who said yes have achieved tremendous success. All the max out kings and queens you know said yes, all right, to the story they heard from Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. And we duplicated the story. We all became storytellers, all right. We traveled the world. I went to Europe. I remember I was the first guy, first Asian doing network marketing in Iceland, all right? We went to Ethiopia. We're the first company to land in Dubai, guys, all right? We went to India in 2001, all right? We were the pioneers of the network marketing industry in India. And today we have broken down barriers and we are the talk of town as Sati who had that show. Are you guys with me or not? All right? And you being part of us today simply means that you are a pioneer, for the next 25 years. And if you truly understand how privileged the position you are in today, that you are a pioneer in the next 25 years, all right, most of us on this call are not going to be as relevant as we are today. You are the future. I'm talking to the future V partners on this Insta Life. I'm talking to the future Max Out Kings and Queens on this Insta Life. I'm talking about you guys. You guys are the future. So one day you're going to be on stage and I pray that you tell them that you had the click at a VCon 20 years ago. You had a click when you watched Chief on Insta Live. Maybe in the next 25 years, Insta Live will be obsolete and there'll be new platforms, all right? Or the Wednesday message that created the click or the first time you saw Japa or Dato Sri Vijay and you heard some magical words from them and you got your click. Can you imagine? The stories people are going to tell 25 years from now. I just cannot imagine. But I know it's going to be simply unbelievable, guys. All right? And my message to you today on my Insta Live, all right, is remember this. You're ultimately dealing with people. One of the biggest challenges that a networker face is not the inability to understand the complex. All right? It's not the inability to sell. I believe we were all born to sell. All right? You started selling. My son is selling me at two years old, convincing me to do things, to buy things. So I think we were all born with the ability to convince others. This is an inbred, you know, in our DNA. I always tell people, you were born a salesman. You just didn't realize you were selling. You started selling as a baby, as a child, you started selling because life is about selling and selling and selling, all right? So the problem is not understanding the complaint. The problem is not selling the products. Please, we have some of the best products in the industry. All right? The problem is not overcoming challenges because you've got to decide whether you're going to be wimp or warrior. That's it. If you're going to be a wimp, you're going to remain a wimp for the rest of your life. If you choose one moment to become a warrior and that switch gets on and you throw away the switch so you can never switch off again, then you remain a warrior forever. But the main fundamental challenge that everyone faces in this business is the inability to deal with people, right? Failing to understand that your success in this business is 99.99% about dealing with people. So if you don't master the art of dealing with people, you're going to struggle to succeed in our business. If you ask me what skill I've learned the most from our great founders, Japa and Datu Sri, watching them for 25 years is the way they dealt with people. Right? It is magical. It's simply unbelievable. And today, I want to summarize all right, this concept, the lessons I've learned watching my founders, my uplines, my mentors, all right, deal with people. Because from the day you sign up till the day you max out, there's one constant, there's one guaranteed thing you cannot avoid. That is to deal with people. Easy people, difficult people, humble people, arrogant people, lazy people, hardworking people, loyal people, disloyal people, all right? Full cup, empty cup, full bucket sometimes. 
But that's part and parcel of your journey in this business, in network marketing. So the first thing I realize about people, and I want to share this with you, and you have to learn this art. Everyone wants to feel important. Everyone doesn't want to be ignored or feel irrelevant. All right? And the first rule you have to understand as a networker is that person feeling important, it is more important than your importance. I hope this makes sense. We should bloody make a t-shirt out of this, Kalai. All right? That person feeling important is more important than your importance. Remember that. Everyone has led a life where they were under-recognized, all right? Ignored, okay? Feeling inferior. And the minute you bring them into your organization, correct that. It's okay to make others more important than you, all right? Because that's what people need today in the world. That people strive, if you look at social media, you look at what everyone is doing on social media today, all right? Dancing, singing songs, doing this, doing that. They're just trying to fight for relevance, because their whole life, maybe they were irrelevant, right? Maybe they had a tough time growing up in school. Maybe they were not part of the cool kids, right? Maybe they lacked friends or, or meaningful relationship. And that's what they're looking for. So always make the other person feel important. It's about them. It's about them. It's not about you. The, the trap networkers fall into is when they think it's about them where they exert their importance over their prospect, over their downlines. It's not important. All right? If you feel somebody feel, if you make somebody feel important enough, you empower them to do great things. I'm telling you this. So the first rule is not all about you. It's more important for them to feel important. All right? Than for them to recognize your importance. All right, the second, which is the hardest thing for a networker to do, and I'm telling you, I'm guilty of this my whole journey. We all love to talk. We all love to talk. And I agree. You have to do presentation, you have to talk. All right, you can't do presentation in silence. You do trainings, you have to talk. All right, empowering people, you have to talk. Inspiring your downlines, you have to talk. Talk, 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 talk. But you must find the time to sit down and listen to your people. That's when you stop talking. And you sit down and you listen. Alright? Because if you are doing all the talking, the downers are doing all the talking, you're all talking outwards. Who do you talk to? The same way you won't believe it, sitting down with Dato Sri Vijay, alright, my upline, and the man of that importance, he will still allow me to speak and he will listen. So what I realize is a lot of uplines, a lot of networkers are so driven by agenda, are so driven by agenda, so driven by achieving their goal verbally that they don't actually take the time to listen to the other person. So guys, I'm telling you, take time. Always allocate time, whether it's late at night, whatever time it is, allocate the time to listen to your people, especially your leadership, especially your direct referrals. No matter how moronic they sound, they just want somebody to speak to. Right? It's tough. Life is already tough enough. Right? And in network marketing, when you become an upline, when you become, you know, a mentor, upline, whatever, you lose the ability to talk to people. There's nobody to talk to. You can't be yourself. Right? And I'm grateful today for Japa and Dato Sri Vijay because in their presence, I get to be myself, all right? And no matter how busy they are, no matter how amazing and powerful and edified they are, whenever I need them to listen, they're there for me. So the greatest strength of a networker is actually not the ability to speak. I think all networkers love to speak and they know how to speak. I think the greatest strength of a great networker or an upline is the ability to sit down and listen, all right? This is fundamentally important. When you're dealing with people, give some time and listen to them. The third point, which I highlighted, I think, on Instagram Live or one of my Wednesday messages, is the fact that no two people are the same. No two people are the same. Some people, you need to raise your voice to get through to them. Some people, you got to whisper. All right? Some people need a hug 
and some people need a kick. You understand? All right? Some people, you got to show them love. And some people, you show them too much love, you actually backfires, they become lazier and in a comfort zone. All right? So there's no two people the same. So your approach as a networker and an upline cannot be a general rule that you apply for everyone. Yes, week on, trainings, you don't have a choice. But you cannot apply a general rule to everyone. You've got to understand them and cater your approach to them. Like Datu Sri always said, all right, you cannot just speak English. You've got to, put, you've got to speak Patmanlish, all right, or Arunlish, or Davidlish, or Adlish. You understand? You've got to speak their language. Only then can you get through to them. So I know exactly how to speak to each of my leaders, all right, each of the V partners, AVPs, everyone needs to be treated differently. Some people want you to talk about your family. Some people don't want to hear about your family. All right? Some people want you to show concern and some people come to you because they want you to push them out of their comfort zone. So it's constantly a different approach for everyone, guys. So no two people are the same. So don't get frustrated when one method doesn't work on everyone. It never will. So you've got to adapt, adjust, accommodate, be versatile and deal with everyone differently. Your trainings, one, one message, 1,000 people. Vcon, 15,000 people, one message. All right? Yes, I did. All right? And this one message, that's different. My Wednesday message, I pray that it reaches everyone a little bit. Some people get impacted by my Wednesday message 100%. Some people 10, some people 40, 50, 60. All right, but I can't record a million Wednesday message every Wednesday. Okay, so yes, Aryan, you want to say hello? hello. Say hello. hello. <laughs> right, like my sons, one one requires a different approach, the other requires a different approach. The same rule applies. So speak the person's language. All right. The fourth point. And I think the most important point, and I'll close with this on my Instagram live today, is that it's not what you say, it's not what you do, it's who you are. And I've said this a million times, your greatest message to the world is who you are, how you live, all right? Which people don't realize, because you're not exactly projecting it as a marketing tool, but the people who spend time with you learn the most from you by observing you. So how you choose to live, all right, matters a lot. And if today you are an upline, even with two downlines or 20,000 downlines, it doesn't matter. You have a responsibility, a duty towards these people. They are your family. All right. And in order to be effective, you can say whatever but if the way you live your life contradicts what you say, you become a hypocrite and nobody will ever follow you again. So the ultimate rule of networking, it is not what you say and what you do. It is who you are that truly matters. And this was my greatest breakthrough. All right? Before the age of 27, I lived an exciting life, which may not put me in a position of the most respected mentor and upline to people. At the age of 26, 27, something important happened in my life that made me realize that today, how I live is my message, knowingly, unknowingly, consciously or subconsciously, is my message to thousands of people. That's why Japa and Datu Sri kept reminding me, it is no longer what you say on stage that matters, Patman. It is who Patman is that matters. Now, this is a tough one because this sense of responsibility requires you truly to change your life. Right? So if you decide to become an entrepreneur to lead thousands of people, then how you live, who you are, matters much more than what you say and what you do. All right? So guys, remember this. Ultimately, our business is dealing with people. That's it. The day you master the art of dealing with people, success falls on your lap. I guarantee you that. You see, everyone focuses on skill, it's bull sugar. Everyone focuses on knowledge, it's bill, bull sugar. I think the future of success in the world of entrepreneurship 
is the art and skill of dealing with people. And as long as you're genuine, that you do everything from your heart, that you build this business with integrity and truth as its foundation, all right? And you care and love for your people genuinely, all right? And you believe in the vision and DNA of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay of touching a billion hearts, raising yourself to help mankind. And you make the right changes in your life so you become this new person where your life becomes your message. And when you reach that point of your journey, you become unstoppable, guys. So this is your chief saying, I love you. All right, guys, I'm sorry the internet was weak in the beginning. I'm here surrounded by all the kids going crazy. All right, and I'm just spending some time with them. Because if you watch my last Wednesday message, I realized that many teachers in my life, Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, my mother, all right, but today, my greatest teachers are my children. It's unbelievable what you can learn from them. All right. So I love you guys. Week number nine, first week of rank advancement for month number three, 25th anniversary, full blown on March. All right. You know what to do. The answer is presentation, presentation, presentation. You know what you're doing wrong. You know what you're doing right. Do more of what you're doing right. Do less of what you're doing wrong. And most importantly, Right, you belong to the greatest organization on the planet, and I guarantee you this journey is going to be the greatest adventure of your life. Just remember, ultimately, it's about people, people, people. And if you learn the skill and art of dealing with people, success belongs to you guys. And that's a sign for my son that he needs me back. I love you guys. All right, I'll see you on my Wednesday message.